Welcome to New Minds Learning Center. My name is Beryl Mohammed. My students call me Miss Beryl. And if you're struggling with math, this is the channel for you. We are all about how-to math videos, tips, and easy solving methods. So if you want to know how we're making math easy, stay tuned. Just like every day, every day. So if it's your first time here, welcome to the class. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Today's video is about percentages. Now, you know sometimes when the percentage questions are posed in different ways? I got you. This is how you deal with each of them. Watch this. Today we are doing percentages and let's get right into it. So I have three separate questions here that I've set up and I wanted to go through each of them because when you see questions like this, they're worded in a different way. So the first one, what percent of 29 is three? One is what percent of 52.6 and 41% of 78 is what? Now, because they are three different versions of this, I wanted to show you um, a formula that you can use depending on what the question says, and then that would help you to put the numbers in their different places. So usually you would have a percentage here because percent is always over, over 100 or out of 100. So that's always gonna be here now. Sometimes it's a little confusing as to where to put what number. So if we use this formula and we say, wherever it says is, that number goes there and wherever it says of that number goes in the denominator position so you have is in the um the numerator position of is in a denominator position so let's take a look at this first question then so if we keep this formula in mind then we can use it to do all of the questions so what percent so using this formula is going to be what percent we're going to use x as the unknown what percent of 29 so of 29 therefore goes as the denominator is three, right? So that's how you would set that up. So X over hundred equals three over 29. Then you go ahead and you do a cross multiplication. So hundred times three. So you're gonna have 300 and you're gonna divide that by the 29. That way you're gonna find out what the X is. All right, so 29 into 30, that goes one time, remainder one, 29 into 10, that can't go. And then that's gonna be remainder the 10 down here. 29 can't go into 10, so you put a zero. 29 to 100 is gonna go about three times. And that's gonna remain about 30, yeah, three times. Yeah, 13, so put a zero here. Don't mind me, I'm just calculating. 29 into 130, yeah, it goes about, I think it's about four, because if that goes three, that has to go four times. Okay, your decimal is gonna be a decimal because it went past the 300, it's gonna be here. So um, it's 10.34% or 10.3%, whichever one you prefer. So what percent of 29 is three? The answer is 10.34%. All right, that's your X. All right, let's go here. One is what percent of 52.6? So if we're using this formula, we're using the same thing. So we're gonna set it up here like that. And then we're gonna put the numbers in. All right, so what percent is here again? So your X therefore goes above the 100 because you're finding out what percent. And then one is, so your is, your one goes upstairs and your 52.6 goes downstairs because that's the of. And then you do your cross multiplication again. So the same thing, 52.6 times X, 100 times one. So 100 times one is 100 and you're gonna divide that by 52.6. Well, we don't like decimals when we're um, dividing, do we? So if we take this out and move the decimal one place out, that will give us 526. And then when you take the decimal, move the decimal one place, you have to add a zero here. That's how it goes. So 526 into 1,000. Well, that's going to go one time, isn't it? And then that's going to leave, let me see, four, about 470, 474, 474. And then that's going to leave, into that. Nine. 
All right, so that's about 1.9%. So X equals 1.9%. All right, I'm trying to go through these very quickly. Thinking, thinking, thinking at the top of my head. Okay, so 41% of 78 is what? So we're going to set up the same thing here. Equals, then you have your is of, right? So 41%. Okay, good. So now we have a 41%. So obviously that 41 is going to go here this time. So 41% of 78. So your of, remember, goes at the bottom. Is what? So your is what? Now we're finding out up here. So we don't need that. Pardon me. All right. So then now we're going to do 41 times 78. 41 times 78. I have to show you guys. There's this trick how to do two by two multiplication mentally. I'm going to have to do a separate video on that. So 41 times 78 is going to give us... Do I have space here? Yeah, I think I do. 41 times 78 is going to give us three... 3198 and then we're going to divide that by divide that by 100 well that's going to be easy because dividing anything by 100 means you just move your decimal place um two places to the left because you're dividing that's another video too isn't it one two so this is 31.98 percent or 32 percent let's round it to 32 percent all right, and that, my friends, is how you would do a uh, percentage uh, problems like these, like these questions. All you have to do is remember the formula, the over 100, the is, the of, and then you just put your numbers in accordingly to, uh, according to what the question said. All right, there you have it. Any questions, please ask below. If you have any other suggestions or um, strategies, please share with us. And thank you for watching. So what did you think? It's a brilliant strategy, isn't it? This strategy, well, it's not my strategy, but it's a foolproof strategy. Uh, treat it like a template. It works all the time with uh, whichever version. It will help you to tackle whatever version of percentage questions, especially those type of percentage questions that involves the word is and that involves the word of. You'll be fine once you um, know this simple foolproof method. Another tip I would give is Try to avoid the calculators with this type of question because, you know, you might be in a test or something where they would want you to show your work. So if they ask you to show your work, this is how you would do it. You would use this strategy to, uh, to strategy, <laughs> can't even get my words out, to show it. That's how you would do it. So um, if I was to give you a tip, that would be one tip I would, uh, I would give you. I mean, obviously it's easy to use the calculator, but if they do ask you to show your work, at least you'll know to use this one. So comment and let me know what you think of this video. Give me a big thumbs up and press that red subscribe button and I will see you next time in another math video. Thank you for watching. Class dismissed.